Hi, I'm back with another video. Sorry that I'm not looking presentable right now, but don't worry, soon I'm gonna fix up myself. I'm gonna come out of this laziness where I'm gonna fix up myself, do, do tutorial to do my own hair. I'm gonna be right now showing you guys this video is about to show you guys how I'm gonna do this stress braid because me. I always have a passion for hair, to do hair and braiding. I just used to love braiding, but a lot of people, they don't believe in like spiritual warfare, but with all the experience I've been through, let me tell you, it's a lot of spiritual warfare going around. Over the years, I try so many things and nothing worked for me. I'm telling my experience because I know uh, people out there need to hear it and I, I used to be in my shell where I don't talk what I'm going through because I, I used to like don't want to talk my business to any, anybody to let people know my experience but let me tell you spiritual warfare exists a lot of wickedness is out there and if it wasn't for God giving me the strength I wouldn't be here but I have to find myself to get strength and I know if, if God is the one keeping me to get this strength each and every day you know sometimes you, you feel alone like you don't know who to go to to talk to but sometimes best believe it or not they have people out there that need someone to talk to and I, I was a person like I was in my room, didn't know who I could go to, but suddenly I had a feel to that I just need to just pick up my Bible or talk to God one on one because believe it or not, God do hear your cry. He do hear what you are going through. He know your pain. He know your heart. Cause just believe it. Every time, time I came up to the United States of America, I'm from the Virgin Islands of St. Croix and I feel like you know I feel like even my own family I'm not talking my, down my family or anything I'm just saying how I feel and if it offend anybody so be it I just saying how I feel and I show you my true self when I was growing up I felt like you know I can't talk to nobody in my family because they don't they don't understand and I think I'm the one in the family who have that special gift where I could feel and I'm very sensitive to the the energy of this world, if, if so to speak, you know, and I, I didn't know who I could go to to talk to my spiritual belief. Some people have different spiritual beliefs. Some people believe in God, they believe in energy, they believe in spirits. Well, I know they have, you know, energy exists and God exists. This is what I know for sure because the thing when I go to, I know I talk to somebody and I know it's like as to me it's a spirit I talk to and you could talk to God on a one on one level where you could explain to him your situation someday you could explain to him what you want from him and he will hear you it may not happen in your timing but it will happen in due time because he showed me time and time again just have faith and believe something may, it may feel like it's, it's, he's not working behind the scenes but just once you have that faith, he is working behind that scene for you. You just have to have that faith and that encouragement and that peace of mind. Sometimes it might be easy to say it's going to be okay or just pray. It might be easy because for me, it wasn't easy to just tell people, oh, just pray. But sometimes you just have to encourage others and tell them, just pray and believe. And God will see you through. Sometimes you might have the energy to just get up and do what you're supposed to do as a parent but just know that you have to fight that energy because there's an energy sometimes that that is negative that we cannot see that we have to get up and push because angels are there to assist us believe it or not some people might say oh you might have a person that you think is a friend tell them oh i'm going through this i feel like this pushing me down keeping me down but just believe if, even if they don't encourage you to say well yeah i believe you what you're going through don't worry about them. Just know that there's an angel watching over and guiding you. You know, sometimes 
you have to push. I don't believe that, you know what, there's angels watching over you and you could ask them for assistance and they will help you. Because they've been through some stuff where I have to fight my, find myself getting up and pushing. Don't believe it or not, they have people out there that need that, that encouragement where you have to tell them get up and push. You cannot be saying it and you're not getting up and pushing. You have to get up and fight. That, that energy that energy that makes you say, like, I don't feel like getting up today. You got to be like, you know what, I got to get up and do it. Some of you might not feel like to get up and go. They to say, let me get a job or do what I love to do. But you got to push that energy. Because believe it or not, that energy that makes you get scared until you stay down, that's a negative energy. Push that energy away from you by getting up and do what the devil didn't want you to do. Because the devil know you have great things within you to push you forward. So that's why they do make you think to, to yourself like, oh, I don't I don't want to do it. You know you have to do it, but push. And that's why I do in this video to encourage myself and force myself. Because I, I can't say for example, I have to say, you know, I know this God that pushing me to get up every man and do it. If not for me, you know, for my kids, to so show them that I have that power and that knowledge to do and bring up my skills and my talents. And this is what I'm, I'm, I'm doing this video to bring up my talents. Because they have years ago, I used to be in a person where I tried to show my talent by, you know, braiding hair. I used to do micro braids at a young age because I was so passionate about braiding hair. And I was so much into braiding hair that I said, you know what, I want, I buy me a dolly. When I reach to the age, I buy my own mannequin and start braiding on the mannequin here. To the point where I start, you know, even though if somebody said, you know the braid, I would say, even though I didn't know the braid, I would say, yeah, I could braid, just so I could try on the person's head. And then I start, you know, doing it over and over and over till they get it, till they look, you know, presentable on their head, you know. So that's what I used to love to do. And then I find myself, you know, well, while I'm plotting the hair, to me, it doesn't look that good, but when I, when the whole overall hair is done, I would say, wait, I done that, not knowing, you know, that my talent was so great. And then I, I find myself like, you know, doing something to micro braids. At first I used to braid slow. But I find myself used to braid slow. Then I after a while I find myself like as the more I do it, the more I start to pick up speed. And I was done, you know, micro braiding like probably three hours because you started getting hang of it doing it over and over and over. So I start braiding micro hair. Then I find myself used to charge like thirty dollars and say, no man, I gotta charge more because this takes up my time, you know. So now I start early in the morning and finishing like, I start at 7, finishing like, say like, 12 at night. The, the, the main thing is the hair used to come out real nice. And I used to be so proud of myself till I used to get, you know, people referring me to other people. And I used to be like, wow, I really do a good job. When I see the person again, I'd be like, why did that? I was shocked at myself. So it's like I was like, kind of like doubting how my work was so good. And where I'm also to spread where more and more people wanted their hair do. You know, so after that, I, I, since I was starting like 30, I said, you know, that was too, too little bit for my time. So then I went up from $30 in micro braids to charging like 50. Then I said, you know, 50 still is not enough. Hold on one minute. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. Yes, I was saying so. Then I started to say fifty dollars is not enough. Then I went up to a hundred, and then you know I started doing. I started to get even more and more clients, and then they have people. When I start doing the hair and I get more and more people, then people wanted to be like, you know, taking advantage of the situation. What they telling me, or oh, well, after I don't braid the if I could, if they could pay me later on, and you know me being so kind, you know, and nice, I'll be like, okay. But then I was they didn't want to pay me and I stopped doing it. So that discouraged me. I don't know if that was the plan of the enemy making me in getting through with being successful and you know getting more clients after because I just get discouraged and I just stopped doing it. And I just start doing my own here and stop doing other people here. But then years later I tried tried to do other businesses like marketing that wasn't working. So I started to say something wrong, you know. Gotta be some kind of force or somebody doing things to keep me down. 
and I just started to get discouraged. Everything I noticed I tried, it wasn't working. You know, so I, I decided, like, you know, years later, I try, I like to do stuff with beauty, like makeup. You know, I like to do, I used to like to put on makeup. But in the enemy, you know, I know somebody out there was doing things to free me because they don't like to see how I was doing good and how I used to do things my hand. I go to my hands, so I started to do makeup. And people would be like, why well, you look nice? They used to love my outfit, my hair, how I do my makeup. You know, I stopped, I, I eventually stopped doing the makeup. You know, because before my, my face would break up bad, like in the early video, part one and two, I was discussing about how I had like a lot of pimples started coming my face, till the pimples started turning like a lot of black marks on my face. I was trying so much different product. Everything that people say, oh, this clear up your skin. I, I was on it buying the products. Nothing was working. Nothing. I would get so discouraged, you know, because they would hype up the product. But then I use my friend product. And with her product, I don't even use it like that. And my face just like clearing up and stuff like that, you know. You could see, you know, it's, it, it still looks kind of see like a little darkness. But not as bad as how it used to. You know, I, sh I, I wish I had picture that I kind of show the dark. Like I said, I used to be so shame about my face with all these dark spots. So I never really took pictures of how bad it used to look. It was real bad. The when I have back spots all here, all over my face, all here, you know. Only right here is the main one I need to get rid of now. But I'm not worried about it because I know eventually it will clear up soon. So I'm not worried about that. But the main point is, I went through so much things I know is the glory of God that making my face clear up. You know, because sometimes stool want to make your face and yourself look terrible is when you're going through stress. Stress cause a lot of things to happen to you too. Make you look kind of old before your time. I'm not saying I was looking old like that, but sometimes make you see me look like, like dry, like mean, dress up or nothing, but when the minute I went to go, I like transfer and they will be like, wow, you look different, you know? I love your makeup, everything. And I love to have to dress up. Even though I buy clothes the other day to dress up and stuff, I still ain't haven't worn them yet. So I'm gonna soon as the videos will go by, wear, you know, different clothing to show you how nice clothing and stuff. And I gotta, um, you know, dress up myself and stuff, do the hair and stuff like that. So this one, is to do it. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna start to do. Is um, I'm gonna do like a tutorial on how I do my my braiding. Cause I did this part before, but this one is a little different. We're gonna use um like chemical um, braid. When I'm gonna braid it in in um in single in single plaits, but it's gonna be like a distressed look. I think that's what they call it, a distressed braid. But it's gonna be used for crochet. I'm gonna make like different ones like in different colors so you all could probably like request what you all want i'm trying to figure out how much we'll do a whole head i'm probably gonna start out with probably a hundred braids to do for each packaging and if you want more then you could request but this is the hair i'm gonna be using to start off with and as a clinical you can get it from any beauty supply and this is a, a jumbo braid Clinical number four, yeah, number four is a hundred percent clinical number four, and this is what I'm gonna use to start off. I'm gonna show you. I don't have my um. Let me show. Let me see. Show you. Let me see who. I don't have my thing ready. Um, so they forgot how to turn this around. What is turn around? I don't have my string ready. Let me see if I can show you guys. I don't know how to turn this on. This is my string I have for my chair ready. So, um, I'm gonna start by showing you how I prepare my own. I should have had it set up already, but I'm not being, you know, real to show you my step, my process. So this is my chair. I don't know if y'all can see good. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use it the hair alongside it. 
I'm gonna do the whole hit the long length because a lot of people like long hair and some of them I'm gonna do like cut it in half maybe in, in a next video with different color but with this step I'm gonna use the long hair I'm not gonna cut it I'm not gonna use it the long hair so if I'm gonna probably feather it a little bit so you could um I don't have to cut no have no um jagged end end so let me show you Okay, so I'm gonna further this a little bit. So I could do this off camera so you don't have to see everything I'm doing. Okay, so now let me show you how you how you start out. Oh, let's show you how you start one. I hope you can see this. Me putting on the camera a little bit. Let me show you how you start one. This is the stress braid. And this is how I start mine. You put it in here, you, take, like, you fold it in half. So you have like the ends like nicely. You, you put it, you put it here in half, see, it's in half. And then you take the hair and you put it over the chair. This is how I do it. Over the chair. Right, you see? Over the chair. It's over the chair. Hold on a minute, somebody called me. Okay, so it's over the chair and then you take it and you separate it in three in three braids. And then you start braiding. Like you're braiding single. If you could see it, very single. So like every every tree braid, let me show you. Every I think I should have it coming. Every tree braid. Let me bring it up closer. Mm -hmm. See every tree braids, and then you. So they say like you feather it out, feather it out, then you go again. Every tree braids. And then you feather it out on the next side. You see it. Okay, so I got done. I got do the rest off coming, and you will see how the finish look with all of them. Talk to you later.